Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. We should try to get into the conversation of what prototype we want to work on. I yeah. know Babyface wants an AK-74 mag. Have we... Uh... AK-74 mag, I mean, that's something that the second the market's there, we're jumping on it, right? Um, obviously, if the litigation um, goes away yeah. and we get our money back, then yeah. that's even cooler. What but kind... okay. we're, we're going to go that way. As long as the market gets there, there will be an X-Tech AK-74 mag, whether that's 2020, it's 2020, 2021. Okay. Um, okay. It, it will be there if the market accepts the platform, right? What we need is... PSA 74 to be great. If, you know, the other guys, if, when they make them, they need them to be great. They need to work, listen to consumers. Same things, you know, the PSA is kind of leading the way in uh, right now in the 47 category. For American guys, believe me, I am, I, I'm a com block guy at heart, but the reality is those imports, you know, we've seen what the prices are, right? I mean, companies like Zestava and Arsenal, they just go higher and higher and higher. And now you've got, you know, probably your best value import is from WBP, right? Brought in by Atlantic. Um, and from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, someone, those have never been used in military use. They're not, they're a commercial company out of Poland. So, you know, U.S. getting there on their own needs to happen. And I'm not telling people to go out and buy American made um, AKs. I'm just saying, you know, take a look and, and do your own homework, but don't write them off, you know? Okay. All right. Someone keeps saying PS90 magazine lower. And I think it's a got the big man. So, uh, PS90 is an interesting magazine. Magazine. Um, loaded. PS90 magazine. That's, a, that's the weirdest magazine I've ever handled in my life. Are you yeah. familiar with that mag? It's, yes, uh... I am. It's flat. <laughs> well, it's a flat top mag, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then it loads. I'm trying to remember it. It's somewhere in the middle. You push it. Yeah. Or so, somewhere on the top, you push the rounds in. Yeah, you might good. you might you might be uh you might be inventorying those for a while. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, the thing here is we'll make one, right? Yeah. We'll make we'll make we'll design one, and uh, I'm not I'm not planning to build tooling on it. I mean, if these guys all wanted to buy a thousand eats that are watching right now and write me checks, then we can talk. Uh, but so okay, what's the parameters? What's the parameters that we're looking at for this then? And then we'll so, get we'll get ideas from people. Just tell us the I parameters. Mean, I honestly would suggest something more down the lines of an invention, right? Um, versus mm -hmm. uh, make a magazine. I mean, I think we've established we can do that, um, mm -hmm. and that's a more of a simple process, right? You don't have to involve as much IP search on it and patents. Okay. I think uh, you know something that um, you know maybe a, a like the idea in my head is like a multifunctional bipod or a multifunctional grip or or mm -hmm. you know something down the lines that it. X that does something else um, would be pretty cool. Um, oh, we, I'm down to finish. make a mag. I don't want to say no. I think people that follow us and know me in the AK groups and stuff, um, you know, we have to make something called an F Jerry magazine for Kalash Bash because I told people I'd make whatever they asked for. And again, mm -hmm. I've wasted like 20 hours of my life trying to find someone that's willing to make that magazine. F -Jerry. Um, so <laughs> we will do what they want, but um, I mm -hmm. think it'd be more uh, educational and a more benefit to the home inventor or the person with the product idea. If okay. we did something a little more novel than a magazine. Flying Rich um, says a pick rail mount bear holder with a swivel. Don't we're down. We're down. Um, I mean, that one I would say keep around. Why not? Um, yeah. We can do that. Multi-purpose, multi-purpose. Okay, so there you go. That's the parameters. Walter, if you have an idea. Patrick, if you have an idea. I know. The only thing you're thinking, AK-74 magazines. So um, what about a... Well, I mean, flashlights are not a new invention, but no, God, what, about, makes what about a multi-purpose flashlight? <laughs> I'm down. I mean, what, I, I mean right. I, so, what, what, what something comes to mind that... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. It might be cool to have like a flashlight that's also a holder of things, like maybe a flashlight, but you could put keys in it or something like that. You could put little tools, like an AR tool, maybe a little metal AR tool. You could just, because I always have, let me, okay, so here's the thing. Let's try to think practically, and everyone could throw up their ideas. I'm going to throw up the crazy ideas first, so no one else looks crazy except me. Um, so more shit to put in your pockets? Do I want to shoot my pockets? Oh, no, I said more shit to put in your pockets. Well, so here's what I'm saying. Okay, Flying Rich says, I know 30-round mag for 10-millimeter high point. <laughs> Well, don't let no wait a minute. Don't laugh about the high point hike. Um, uh, the yeet cannon, or <laughs> don't laugh no. about a high point high capacity magazine. You sell sh 
explode on Yeah, you. okay, okay. Do, have you thought about that, Jeremy? I, no, I, mean, I haven't. I mean, that's that's kind of – I mean, that would be a, a toss-up. I'm down to do it. That would be a very easy one for my uh, – my engineers, because what we do there is just do an extender for the existing mag like we've done. Mm -hmm. You know, Hank, you've seen them. I think we got an awesome design on mag extenders that is yeah, the mean, best in the world. There's some out there already where they hook another one on. It's kind of at an angle, and it's just kind yeah, of... Yeah, that's... But you've got to pull it out and flip it over. Okay, so listen. So here's my thing. We uh, And I want people to give up their ideas here. But uh, let's think of something along the lines of EDC. Can we... If we're going to... If we're going to take this shot... Can we do something practical, EDC? What's always in your in your pockets? Your wallet? Like, okay, right now I'm going to take everything out of my wallet. Okay, I got a wallet. I know people say the wallet's too big. I get it. I, I have a flashlight. That's in my pocket always. Okay, I got a knife. There's my knife right there. Custom Hank Strange Microtech. Shout out to those guys. Okay, so uh, let me see. Oh, I got chapstick. Very important. Especially for the, you know... The lip enhanced. Come on, those, come, on come on, No Botox, by the way, in there. So that's pretty much what's in my pockets. Oh wait, I have a, I got a, a, a magazine. I can't show. I, obviously, I can't show my, uh, my gun or anything like that. And, and I've got a gun on me. So why don't we think of something like that, that you can maybe replace a couple of these things, that you have, and make it more practical. And everyone should have a flashlight on them. Everyone. Always, at all times. Patrick's not going to back me up on this because if he's not getting his AK-74 mag... No, I like flashlights. Is that what you were saying? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is like maybe... A, okay, obviously a flashlight already... Flashlights already exist, but something that's... Let's say maybe like a flashlight, but you could store other stuff in there that you might need. You know, well, you could put some how, keys in point, there. I mean, I'm just, I'm just throwing some okay. arguments this flashlight holder thing at what point does it not become something you stick in your pocket yeah i know if it gets too bulky i mean, I mean oh. okay take take old school mag light drop this in the front of it and the back is all empty and you got your thing you got what you're talking about your little you, you got your flashlight in the front and your uh, cartridge thing in or your, mm -hmm. your carrier in the back you know I don't yeah know you. harry's nice holster flashlight combo yeah. yeah harry's holster says a slim edc wallet that doesn't suck <laughs> slim edc wallet that doesn't <laughs> one suck one man's not suck is another man's yeah. suck so yenick <laughs> stoner says my phone has a flashlight on it an uh, ak style magazine that dispenses pez or chapstick yeah. <laughs> uh johnny kamikaze says chapstick flashlight call the stranger <laughs> chapstick <laughs> flashlight um, Come on, keep them coming, guys. Yeah, keep optical gun control said that one. Let's see, knife flashlight. Best car combo. steel pattern. My my Cerakote guy would love that. He's yeah, like, best car steel. Best car chips. Hit up We Plead the second if you want best car. I don't know. Uh, okay. I don't understand that still. Like, I don't know what that even yeah. is, but I've so, seen. It. Yeah. The, oh, you don't know about the best car steel? You don't know about this from the Mandalorian? Yeah, Mandalorian. Baby Yoda. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so, okay, Walter. All what's... respect lost right there. <laughs> uh, Jason St. Pierre says, I don't care what you make unless it's quick release. Um, so what about, uh, what, what, what do you think, Walter? What do you think here? What's I, your idea? I, I'm drawing a blank. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm, uh, I, all I can think of is just remember what Magpul started with. Mm -hmm. uh, Magpul. Yeah. yeah, simple. I, mean, I remember. Simple. I remember. I can remember. And this is, goes back. Mm -hmm. I can remember when Magpul was in, in a, in a, in a ten by ten booth. Mm -hmm. They had that Magpul, and I was going. That's all they had. Okay, that's kind of <laughs> interesting. Okay, and then it went from Magpul yeah. of this to that to this to that. If you could and go back in a time machine, Walter. Well, I mean, I'm just, all I'm saying is, you know, that's sometimes it starts simple like that. You just got to and you, and and. To start simple and to make it work, sometimes you have to be in the right uh, time. You know, mm -hmm. if, if you like Daniel Defense and hand guards and things like that, if mm -hmm. you fall into that time frame right, and things and the, all the planets line up, then it works. But if if you come up with the magpole and nobody wants a magpole because um, the war's over, so to mm -hmm. speak, mm -hmm. thing, um, mm -hmm. then you're going to be magpulling all by yourself in the corner someplace. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, it's like, well, and there's a lot of examples in the industry, right? Of that, like, you know, I have, I'm, I, 
you know, know some of the folks over at X products and, um, you know, they've been good to me. And obviously there's some, some contra- there was controversy a couple of years ago, but you know, like their product line, $180 drum as a starting price, uh, that would never have a place in the market. I, I'm convinced they would never be able to build a brand if not for when they showed up at Shaw Show with a 50 round drum, right? <laughs> and they right. did a couple million dollars in orders right there because of the, the threat of them being outlawed, right? So it, it is a right time, right place industry. It can be, right? Yeah. Definitely mm-hmm. can be. Yeah. A um, uh, yep. mag cooler that has a place for a flashlight and a knife and a money clip. That's Interesting. something. Interesting. And my guys would dig that. That's a functional where you'd see 17 prototypes made so they could keep them for themselves. Yeah. Um, uh, Eric Hammond says uh, extra mag holder that can be configured to fit uh, in the waistband or pocket. Uh, okay. I feel like that might already be out there. Yeah. It kind of sounds like the ultimate like modern tactical fanny pack is what American freedom outdoors is discussing. The fanny packs are coming back. Fanny packs are, I, I, I've always joked about the tactical fanny pack. Everybody, uh, everything like for that. I mean, everyone sure. wants to look like the bad guy in a, you know, John wick movie and call themselves a gray man. Right. Yeah. Um, but I think the best gray man would be, you know, uh, a fanny pack. Yeah. I, I think How about a fanny pack that it. looks like those, uh, you know, when you have those, uh, there's a oh, what is this? It's like you always see it in movies the explosive thing that they Claymore, Claymore, yeah, Claymore, a Claymore that looks wow. like a fanny pack that looks like a Claymore. I, I mean, I've got a guy that likes to make them in his place in Texas, so yeah, so just guarantees one, you, you get arrested, <laughs> when you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like when they see that, like, oh no, you are under arrest, sir, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something uh, it's something uh let's see. I like the I like the multi multi purpose approach of the uh I don't remember what it all was, but money clip flashlight knife in a fanny pack. Yeah. It's kind of some funky... kind of Batman esque tool. Yeah. Uh, can we do some kind of Batman esque tool? Oh, I've got a good idea, but I don't know. You guys might not like this. You know, something that you could put you can like appendix carry so it looks like your junk is bigger, but it's for storing <laughs> Extra storage. <laughs> Maybe you can hang your flashlight down. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Hey, is that your flashlight? <laughs> happy to see me. You know, come on. Harry's holster says, "How about one product that does one purpose? It does it really well." And uh, is your six covered? Says was X Tech at IV eighty eight eighty eight last range day. I did hit up Brandy. I have not heard back yet. So I. Oh, you have. You've never been out to. there. I have not. Oh, okay. Um, Brandon was bugging me about coming out. I okay. think it was Brandon. Yeah. If it wasn't you, Brandon, I apologize, but I yeah. think it was. <laughs> if you, you know, if you're interested, I could definitely get you into that. I, I uh, just hit me up, or I'll I'll make an introduction for you. Cool. Yeah, yeah I sent her an email, but have not uh, yeah. gotten word back yet. Yeah. So if you can uh, ping her, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, Brian Quick says a fanny pack is great to carry your. What is it? Hog leg when at the beach, in nothing but a bikini. <laughs> Uh, Uncle Mike says a fanny pack that you wear in the front with level 3A armor backing. <laughs> all, the, all the armor flops down is to cover yeah. your junk. <laughs> yeah. And then Uncle Mike says, Hank, that's what the pocket in your tidy whiteies is for. <laughs> oh, boy. Hang the Olight tactical orange near your basket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's a listen. We, you guys have to come up with something. We'll we'll think about this a little bit more. Obviously, we'll have to think of this. Maybe I'll pull out a snippet or something like that, throw it up on the interwebs, and let everyone comment on it, and then you know we'll come up with something. How about can we make a really good polymer knife that's undetectable? I like that. So um, the answer is I think so. Yeah. Um, when I say really good, the question is how well it holds an edge. Um, and obviously it's not going to be as good as some of the metallurgy yeah. technologies out there, but, um, yeah, we've actually been asked by some folks, uh, to make a dive knife, um, and do the weight and non corrosive properties. Um, you know, at least like a, a backup dive knife for a certain group of folks. Um, and you know, um, I, I've actually made some scalpels uh for the uh cutting nerves out of your spine before so we've done it out of all polymer um it's scalpels very for cutting nerves out of your spine yeah so not x-tech right again i have another hat so oh, uh, okay. we kind of 
people that know me and how I make a living, um, you know, it's in part, right. The two kind of mm. public personas is, uh, you know, we, we deal with, uh, helping, you know, both sides of it, right. Like mm. <laughs> tools to work and then tools to fix. Right. So, mm, yeah. um, you know, med device is a core market for me. Um, so yeah, we've, we've made a blade out of a hundred percent polymer. Hmm. And then actually another program I was involved in, involved in and, and, um, and still am is, uh, for female joggers, there's a, a blade. It's not overly sharp, but it's enough to screw you up. Yeah. Um, called it's go guarded. Gift, like, okay. You don't, yeah, you don't really need, you don't need a lot. Cause you just, even a pressure no. tool could you need do a lot of damage. Yeah. Poking edge and, and a little bit of force and get the, job. yeah, the, the challenge with that is to make it, I mean, we could design a really cool knife, um, but to make it, we'd have to do tooling. Right. So, and then, you know, um, the polymers we use, you'd have to require some special tooling to handle that high temperature um, polymer use. So we have to go all the way to building a mold for that knife, but it actually is a market we've looked at. Um, and, mm. and knives are a market we've actually looked at a lot with a totally different take on it. Um, mm. And I would say, you know, in the next three years, uh, expect a whole product line, uh, it may be a little longer, obviously with what else we're dealing with, but mm -hmm. We have already been in works for about two years now on conceptualizing and uh, um, a line of EDC um, blades um, really designed uh, a different take on it. And I think it's on the market today. I think you can get close to it for a lot of money and a mm -hmm. lot of homework and some custom stuff, but there's no mass market out there. Are you saying it. no yeah. to the knife idea? Is that what's happening? I, here? I am not. I'm saying I'm all about it, actually. Okay. Um, and it's something okay. that I've, I've researched quite a bit. Oh, okay. So this is a maybe. The nice thing is something I've wanted to do uh, for two years now. Mm -hmm. um, a buddy of ours is a former ordinance guy at a team too, and uh, that's where you know he originally pitched me on it. And him and I have been talking for a while on the topic. And uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, the knife thing's very intriguing to me. Yeah, go ahead, Patrick. With those guys, is there? You're, any... you're coming in quiet. You gotta get a little closer to the mic. Sorry. What are you doing with the microphone over there? Oh, he pulled the plug out. The microphone came out. Oh, Any it, better at all? App is perfect now. <laughs> I literally unplugged and replugged. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, is there so with the with the the team guys? Is there a market for a blade that is non magnetic, non conductive? Is that what they're looking for? Yeah. Weight weight's a big thing. Right. Oh, weight's um, thing. Okay. weight's weight's a big thing. Um, okay. Yeah, something they can carry as a spare. I mean, as as you can imagine, when you're underwater in dark environments, mm. uh, mm -hmm. things get lost, things get tangled around things. When you tie ropes to them, you know, you plan for everything bad to happen when you're, yeah. you know, work do that for a living, right? So uh, this would be a, a backup um, would be the initial objective, and if we can make it good enough, then it maybe would become a primary. Yeah. Um, but definitely something we played with. It's just holding an edge is the question, right? And you can't. The one problem with that is you can't prove the concept. I mean, obviously we can design something that looks epic, right? Or, or, or it looks like it will work, but until you, to get one, you have to build a mold, right? A prototype's not going to tell you if mm -hmm. you're close or far, right? So, and then build the mold, you have to be something that can use, uh, you know, like I said, a very high temp material that y even your hoses have to be exotic, right? Cause you're running so hot, the hose comes loose, steam can actually, you know, destroy someone's life. So mm -hmm. you have to, there's a lot of capital expenditures into the front of it, although it's not it's again, I've never, it's never been crossed off my list. It's just been a hmm. little bit on the back burner. Yeah. It would be interesting for joggers and, and stuff like that. Like you said, you know, I mean, like when people are out there, they've got usually very tight stuff. They don't want a lot of weight, just something you could tuck in. Maybe it doesn't cut you or whatever, but if you get into a little tussle up close, you can ap apply some serious uh, damage to someone else, you know? Yeah, and something that kind of, you know, conform to the body better than what's out there, right? Again, mm -hmm. I think you can get to a similar solution to what I'm, I kind of see as the core of the um, EDC knives I would want to make. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you go, if you're all in, right, if you're spending a, you know, a couple hundred bucks on a knife or let's say $80 at a minimum on a knife and then another 80 on a holster, you could get in the ballpark of what I'm discussing. But what I'm discussing is actually a complete system where it's, mm -hmm. you know, collectively 50 bucks gets you to the same net equivalent because mm -hmm. uh, it's mass produced right so i i 100 believe in you know because a folder to me you know to make a good folder obviously you got a lot more cost right um unless you go to china which i prefer not to we have one product made in china everything else 100 made in the u.s and our laser is only thing made in china you just have to right or it's a thousand dollars but mm -hmm. I, I think there there is and to your point like there's a need 
to have something where average Joe can walk in and go, Hey, you know, for $50, I can get a quality piece of kit. That's another bat, something I'm actually going to carry every day. Let's look at it that way. Right. Or when I need to be discreet um, and whether it's all polymer or steel at that point, I think, uh, you know, there's just a lack of stuff out there unless you're that really educated consumer that has some coin that can go chase down, you know, and, and, and trial and error. Cause as we know, knives retention holsters with Kydex and knives, um, they're hit and missed, right? The yeah. Kydex process. Make sure to check out hankstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.